So in this module, we're gonna talk about the concept of sampling. Now, in whatever rangeland we are working in, it's impossible for us to get out and visit and measure and monitor every spot of ground within that area. And so we're gonna to need to pick a set, a small set of areas that we're gonna go and visit and then draw some conclusions about the larger area based off of those places that we go and look. And that's a concept that we call sampling. Now, a lot of people think of sampling as some kind of black art or some sort of like unknown, strange thing and, um, and really ascribe some, some sort of mystical properties to it. And it's not that complicated. Now, you can get sort of complicated with it, but the basics of it are really pretty straightforward. And we're going to cover this over a couple of modules. First, we're going to talk about basic sampling principles, how the concept works, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this. We can actually illustrate these concepts with candy, with M&Ms. And that'll be another video. I'll introduce the M&M exercises and we'll play around with, uh, with this concept of sampling. And then in a subsequent lesson, we're going to look specifically at the mechanics of this and how we do it, the sampling design. And the important thing to remember with sampling though is that how you draw your samples and how you do that sampling is gonna make a big difference in how you analyze and you interpret the data that you collect. So it pays to really kind of do your homework ahead of time and think about sort of the sampling, how you're gonna approach it uh, so that you make sure that you can get the data that you need uh, when you're all done. Mm -hmm.